How you doing, YouTube users? This is the video tutorial to fix the audio glitch that Medal of Honor Allied Assault and its expansion pack have when running it on the Vista or Windows 7 operating systems. The operating system I'm using right now is the Windows 7 64-bit Ultimate. Not that that's really going to matter much. Go to your shortcuts, or if you don't have it there, you can go to your Start, All Programs, uh, Go to your EA Games folder, so on and so forth. Find the execute file, right click it, properties. If you have the shortcut, just hit right click properties, go to compatibility. Click the checkbox, run this program in compatibility mode 4, Windows XP Service Pack 2. That's the best option. I've tried other options and they just bug out. Obviously, you got to do it for all three. You have to go to your My Computer folder. Go to whichever hard drive you have the game installed on. Go to your Program Files. Because I have the 64-bit version of Windows, it's going to have x86. If you don't, just go to Regular Program Files. Go to EA Games folder. Go to Moha. These are the three folders you're going to have to mess with today. Main, Main TA, and Main TT. Allied Assault. Spearhead, Breakthrough. Go to Main, go to Configs. Open Unnamed Soldier with the Notepad program. The information up here is the information the game puts out every time you change settings through the game. This information down here is the widescreen fix. Anybody can uh, mess with it. It's, uh, the numbers here, that's your width height, vertical height. Simple enough, right? I have it set to 1680 by 1050. Obviously, it's a widescreen resolution. I'm going to put the link to the forum that I found this information on if you guys are too lazy to just pause the video and type it. That way, you can copy and paste. Now, moving on to the audio fix. Scroll down until you see this information here. Zeta S underscore miles driver to the right of it. By default, it will say 2D miles east positional audio. You're going to change that to the name of your software driver. The name of my software driver is VIA high definition audio. If you don't know the name of your software driver, just go to the volume here, click it, hover over this icon, and in parentheses, you're going to see that it says the name of the software driver. Obviously it has the same exact name that I just said earlier, VIA High Definition Audio. Go back to this notepad and type in exactly as you see it. Uh, the damn thing keeps still moving. Alright, right there. Motherfucker, this thing is... Okay. You can see I put my name in. Whatever the hell sound driver you have, type it in exactly as is, or else it's not going to work. This Anything in here is case sensitive, which is why you got to type it in precisely. File, save, exit. Go to the next folder, your spearhead folder, main TA. Configs, unnamed soldier. Do the same exact thing. You want to put the widescreen fix in because you got a widescreen uh, TV or you know your monitor is widescreen. Put it in. Copy and paste it. Type it. Scroll down. Look for that same exact information. S underscore miles driver. Quotations. Type in the name of your audio driver. Exactly as is. File. Save. Exit. And do the same thing to the breakthrough folder. Now, I would show you an example of what it looks like, but you can do that yourself. Uh, my video program, for some reason, freaks out when I try to record any type of game. So, this is as far as I'm going to go uh, walking you through the Allied Assault uh, sound fixes and widescreen fixes. Now, when you do run the game, you're probably going to get a console message as soon as you hit the main menu, and it's going to mention something about the audio driver that it cannot find a certain file.
don't worry about that. You're probably going to get that message uh, every time you start the game, but that's it. You're only going to get it once when you start the game. Just hit escape and it'll go away, and it'll never bother you again. Now, on default, the audio is going to be set to high. By default, it will always be set to high. Don't mess with it after that. If you want to change the volume settings or, you know, cool. The audio settings, leave it at high. Don't screw with it. When you go to your uh, video options for, like, um, your color and your resolution settings and stuff, it's probably going to say negative 1. In the video resolution selection, it's probably going to say negative 1. Don't mess with that. Leave it alone. That's the widescreen uh, configuration that you just threw into the unnamed soldier config folder. That's your widescreen fix. That's your audio fix. Last but not least, these old games did not have uh, anti subtrophic filtering and they didn't have anti-aliasing back in the day. You just you just did not have that option like recent games. Go to your video card options. Look over here, manage 3D settings. Obviously if you have an ATI card it's going to look a little bit different but we're going through the same concept. Go to anti-subtrophic sorry. Anti-subtrophic filtering. I put mines on 4X, 16X, it's not going to be that much of a difference only because it's an old game. If it's a more recent game, it's probably going to make a bigger difference. Put both of them on 4. You put both of them on 8. Put them on freaking infinity. Whatever, just as long as you have them on. You'll notice the difference. The color's going to look much richer. You're not going to have a fuzz around certain textures or characters moving around. Another thing this option gets rid of is the flickering that a lot of old games had, a lot of old OpenGL based games had, they had this like weird texture flicker, certain images kind of like shifted or moved around, or they just looked very choppy or glitchy, it's going to get rid of all of that. There's even going to, you're going to notice that there's certain objects and textures in the game that were just not there before, hey guess what, they were supposed to be there, but because of the lack of technology back in the day, you didn't see it. So you've been playing these games for years not realizing like there was supposed to be a lamp on the wall there's supposed to be a door in a certain area or there may have been a sidearm on a character or certain objects and equipment that certain characters individuals would have whether you're playing as allies or the axis and this affects single player and multiplayer this is just a graphics glitch and now since you have the technology readily available you might as well use it. Throw it on. It changes the experience of the gameplay. It does. You'll even notice when you're looking at weapons that you can actually read the text very, very vividly and very clearly without any problem, including certain objects on the weapons actually look much clearer. You can actually see the textures. It's awesome. It really is awesome. And, well, that's, uh, that's the end of this video tutorial. Uh, send me comments, send me videos. If you find any other cool fixes for the game that you feel people would appreciate, don't be a dick. Throw it up online just like I did. Share the information. My screen name on a lot of games is Bleeding Bullet 762 I have a Steam account. You can type that same name. Add me, send me a message, say hi, tell me to fuck myself. I hope I see you on the battlefield. Later, guys.